You may have noticed that your laminar jet in your Vortex Spa is no longer working the way it used to. The stream may not be smooth or it may be completely reduced. And this short video is gonna show you how to fix that. If your spa is older than say three years old, it will have one of the older style jets that can't be accessed from the front. Uh, this video does not pertain to those. This is only for the new style of laminar jet. So I've turned my spa off and now I'm gonna remove the laminar jet that's not working correctly and I'm gonna clean it. I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so I've taken the laminar jet face out and I'm now gonna disassemble it so I can show you what's inside and what's making the problem. So this cap just simply pops off by pulling it. I'm gonna set it aside and I can use something um, to poke down through the front here as long as it's not sharp and because there's screens inside of here and I don't wanna tear those screens, but I can also just tap that down like that. The screens will pop out. You can uh, see inside that they're completely plugged. So there's three of those. And now I'm gonna take these to a sink and I'm gonna wash them off with an old toothbrush. That's what I would recommend, but you could use a, a piece of towel. Just don't use anything sharp that will actually uh, damage the screen. Okay, so I've cleaned the screens from the laminar jet. As you can see, they're completely devoid of gunk, which was the issue. So now I'm gonna reassemble this by putting the screens back in the jet. I'm going to put the face back together and then I'm going to reassemble the face into the spa. Now I'm gonna turn the spa on and I've still left one of them dirty so you can see the difference. So hopefully this short video has helped you understand how to clean a laminar jet when they're not working correctly. And as always, if you need any help, you can contact us, just go to spastore.com.au or spastore.co.nz and use our live chat or you can email us. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks.